Within our enhanced categorical analysis section, we're also able to handle this question where we ask if are two categorical variables dependent on one another? And this is what we are calling our independence test. So in this one, similarly, we have categorical by categorical data. Okay. So what we can do here is maybe we're interested in like our population of student athletes and we want to look at something like their major and their sport that they are playing. So we would say that you know we're looking at their sport which is categorical and we're looking at their major. And we're wanting to know if your sport is independent of your major. Or maybe one sport likes to do, uh, tends to have more majors than another. Okay, so our population here is slightly different than when we were doing our test of homogeneity. Here we only have one population. We're measuring one group and we're looking at multiple variables. The other one we had multiple populations and comparing a single variable. So here we have just one population. Our assumptions, we still are looking for a minimum of five expected for every outcome. And our hypothesis starts off like this. Or the null hypothesis is that there is no relationship between sport and major. And we can alternatively say that there is a relationship. Okay, alpha, same as always. It lets us know uh, what percent of the time we are willing to reject the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is actually true. And our testing method. So our testing method here is going to be independence. Remember, the difference between independence and our homogeneity is like how many populations are we dealing with. Here we were dealing with two pieces of categorical data from a single population and in homogeneity we were dealing with one piece of categorical data from multiple populations. But the thing between homogeneity and independence is they look identical. Uh, we still are basically looking at, if we do something like football, basketball, soccer, and major we could do like communication, Um, psychology, uh, we could do teaching, and other, and we would simply collect our data Something like that. And when we check our assumptions for the expected value, we use the same methodology that um, we were using in the test of homogeneity, where our software is able to calculate out uh, what the expected values should be. And I'll show you that in our software videos. All right, so we did our experiment. We collected our data. Our test statistic, again, is our chi-squared. 
and a p-value. We reject if our p-value is less than alpha. And our conclusion, all right, so our conclusion is going to be that, uh, so if we reject that we collected sufficient evidence to reject the claim that there's no relationship between the two and suggest that there is a relationship um, between these guys. Once again, we are not calculating out like a confidence interval per se, but for our post talk, we're going to do a graphic uh, comparing these so we can try to see where the differences actually lie. So that is how we handle a test of independence uh, in order to try to determine if there is relationships between two categorical variants.